another episode of Cabo Concepts with Jennifer Estill. As you can see, this is the same outfit that I have for my previous video. But tonight, I'm going to teach you a new pack, which is Loading Hex Shadow Effect using Canva. Usually, this can be done in Adobe, Photoshop, or Illustrator, but I'll show you how you can do it inside Canva. It's very simple again, and I'll uh, guide you step by step on how you too can do it. Also, before I forget, please like and subscribe to my channel, and also click that notification button or bell <laughs> so you can be notified of my new videos every week. And also, you can follow me on Facebook in my page, and also on Instagram with Canva Concepts with Jennifer Hester. And with that, let's get started! Let's start with our text facts with a blank work workboard, and then I'm just going to use this photo as my background. All right, and let's just resize it, and then locked it in so that I won't move when I put in this text. Okay, so let me just adjust this and also choose the font that I like which is um, I think it's low I think that if that's the correct way to pronounce it okay and then adjusting the kerning which is the text spacing all right and then I'm just gonna change the line height here so that it squished then duplicate this two times so that they have their own different layers okay and then I'm changing all of these to the colors that I want okay. right this is really like orange. Okay. Then I'm going to select all of these. Well, first, let me just click the effects, and this is where we're going to put in the text shadows. Alright, change this. Uh, I usually just play with the transparency of the text and the blur and then position it. What we want is to have the effect that it's floating. Okay, so what I want is for this first layer with the word floating to have uh, the shadow seen on the second layer which is the text shadow that says here. Uh, we haven't achieved that yet, but let me adjust the position of the... Yeah, that one. Let me adjust the positions of the shadow. This should be up to 100%. Oh, there. There we go. It's You can now see it on the text. It kind of looks like it's floating. You just play around with all of the points inside of these shadow effect and when you're good just recreate it on the other layers what's important what's important here is that you have each phrases or levels uh, with different layers so that the first layer will have the shadow be shown on the second and the second be shown on the third and then so on and so forth okay it's now coming alive kind of looks like it's really floating now i'm gonna change this to black shadow and there you have it 
That's the first way to do the floating text shadow effect using Canva. Right. And let me just show you another way to do this. Okay, that would be the first one that I did has a dark background. Now let's do one with a light or white background to see how it really looks like. Let me just choose. Oh, but first let me just do one with a really dark black background. I'm gonna use this peacock. And let's just create the same effect with the one that I did earlier with the orange rock background. Copied it all, changing the text. And later I'm gonna change the colors as well. Again, the trick is to have each line with different layers. Don't put it in one uh, text layer. You gotta have it separated. I'm not choosing the colors, which are playing with blues and whites here. And a bit of yellow. Now let's position it in this top right corner. Resizing the background photo, aligning uh, it to the right. Um, okay. And now that looks great. And now this is the one with the light or white background. Okay, let's just choose a photo there. I'm gonna choose this stuff. Owl toy with a white background. I'm gonna enlarge this and crop this and put it in the center. And I'm gonna adjust the brightness and contrast so that the white background will pop up more. And let's just copy one of the text that we've already done. Okay, align it to the center. Okay. And let move it to the center as well. I'm gonna change the font this time to a different one. This is Barlow Condense. Or I think it's, yeah, let's just choose Barlow Black. And if you can see, it's a bit darker with the shadow here because we were, we're using a light colored background. So I'm going to adjust the blur and the transparency here and even the color so that it won't it would look more realistic and that and the shadow not too overpowering okay so let me just duplicate this for another text there choose a different color and again use the layer effect so that the shadow of the first text line will be seen on the second line okay. and change this to a different color all right and there you have it text shadows effect that looks like it's floating using Canva. Adjust the transparency. Okay, there. And the blur. Alright, there you have it. Three ways to create floating text shadows. I hope I helped you with this tutorial. And if you like this much, please hit that like button and See you on the next tutorial!